Celtic proved the doubters wrong with a fantastic result in Glasgow and we see the best team in Scotland pummel the second best team in Germany by three goals to one. Welcome back guys to Son of Scotland TV. Just doing a quick match review here. If you want to see my full thoughts on this match on Celtic, on Scotland, in Europe, then you can go check out Fog Football, the co-op channel where there is match reviews, player ratings, reactions, and all that good stuff. But right now, let's quickly talk about the win tonight for Celtic. They defeated Red Bull Leipzig in Glasgow at Celtic Park by three goals to one in a game that, to be honest, not a lot of people thought Celtic would win, and especially the German media. Not didn't really give Celtic a chance tonight. We're hearing from the Red Bull Leipzig camp how they believe this was a must-win game, and they also believed that Red Bull Leipzig would win this rather easily after seeing Celtic's performance against Dortmund, the result against Dortmund. And look, that result against Dortmund, it was a bad night for Celtic. It was a very bad night for Celtic, but... That can happen. Those kind of results can happen. Celtic can lose to Dortmund, and it's it's not it's not imaginable, unimaginable. You know, it's not impossible because Dortmund are probably the, the true second best team in Germany, or at least the third best team behind Bayer Leverkusen. The league table at the moment says it's Red Bull Leipzig, but I don't think anybody truly believes it's Red Bull Leipzig. You can have those kind of results, but Red Bull Leipzig's their, their failure tonight was just believing Celtic are a bad team because they lost to one German side by seven goals tonight. And I tell you what, Red Bull, Red Bull Leipzig, they looked like the Scottish team tonight, and, and Celtic looked like the European side from a top league, because they, play, they played them off the pitch, man. They battered them tonight by three goals to one. A very impressive performance. And you know what? It could have got away for Celtic, because they started the game better, but still found themselves 1-0 down after 20-odd minutes. And that was when Rebs, uh, RB Leipzig were probably having their best spell of the game. Between 15 and, and the half an hour mark, that, that kind of like 15, 20 minutes in there is when RB Leipzig probably looked at their best. And after Celtic had a, a good opening to the game, and they must have been frustrated to be 1-0 down, but they didn't let that stop them. Kuhn tonight was phenomenal. Great opening goal. Puts it right into the left-hand side. Top bends. People saying it's a cross. It's a shot, man. It, it, for me, it's quite clearly a shot. Who would he be crossing it to? There was nobody really even there for him to cross to. So I don't understand that that rhetoric that it was like, oh, he flicked it. I mean, to me, it was a great shot to Kuhn. Let's give the guy some credit. Great second goal as well. Good play from Celtic. Press was phenomenal. Forced uh, RB Leipzig into a mistake. And then Kuhn with a good finish. Kuhn also had an amazing pass on the outside of his boot to play through Dyson Maida in the first half, who really should have scored. I mean, Kuhn was great tonight. I've given him a 10 out of 10 on the player ratings. You want to go and check that out. Second half, Celtic 2 went up and they didn't sit on the lead. They didn't try and protect the lead. In fact, they tried to widen the lead. And in the end, they managed to do that. Rio Hattati managed to put home a Galachi spilled cross. And then Dyson Maida even late on made it 4-1, but the goal was chopped off due to being offside. So, look, a fantastic result tonight for Celtic, winning by four goals, uh, three goals to one, sorry, could have been four, could have been five, and that wouldn't have been unfair. If Celtic won tonight by four goals to one, five goals to one, you'd be sitting here saying they deserved it, that scoreline is about right. That wouldn't have been hard. It wouldn't have been... Um, unfair like justice or whatever on, on RB Leipzig. Celtic deserved to win the night and they deserved to win by a decent margin. It was 3-1 on the night but it could have been more and I think the biggest compliment I've gave Celtic is tonight they didn't look like a Scottish team and I, I don't mean that in, in a bad way I don't mean that disrespect to Scotland but tonight Celtic looked like a team, <laughs> a top European side and not necessarily a team from uh, the Scottish Premiership so shout out to Celtic, I thought they were great Brendan Rodgers Great, Nicholas Kuhn, man of the match, pretty much unplayable tonight and what what a career, what a future he could have ahead of him and he could be the next big money player, I think, to leave Celtic. But we turn our attentions now to Thursday night, Rangers and Hearts in action. Uh, we'll be obviously reviewing the Hearts game, but you can check all the build-up, all the reaction, everything else on Fog Football. So go ahead and subscribe to Fog Football. It's the co-op channel with me and my brother, Big Stevie Cool. You can check that out, guys. But for now, uh, Celtic, fantastic performance tonight. 
good for the Scottish coefficient and, and good just to see a Scottish club get a big, big win and a deserved win at that, you know, against a, a top team from a top league in Europe. You know, the Bundesliga is one of the best leagues. RB Leipzig are one of the best teams in that league. And Celtic tonight, you know, made them look pretty mediocre. And that's how good Celtic were. So congratulations to them. Anyway, guys, that's it. Been Sun Scotland TV. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.